My name is Karen Alvarado, and my fellow teammates' names are Yolanda Suarez, Amari Llorens, Veronica Costa, and Iman Mukhtar, and we are going to be presenting the Battle of San Juan in 1595. On November 22nd, 1595, Francis Drake and John Hawkins tried to invade San Juan, Puerto Rico in efforts to take San Juan's silver and gold. A damaged galleon commanded by General Sancho Pardo Osorio, carrying part of the treasure of the Spanish fleet, took refuge in the San Juan Harbor while it was being repaired and its cargo was deposited in La Fortaleza for safekeeping. The reason for the battle was that Queen Elizabeth I sent Sir Francis Drake with the goal to attack and take Spain's source of silver and gold that was in the ship brought by General Pardo. The English came with 27 ships and 2,500 soldiers and sailors to fight against Spain's five freights, 700 soldiers, 800 sailors, and 70 land-based guns. The battle took place in the Bay of San Juan, which houses La Fortaleza. La Fortaleza helped the Spanish stop Drake from forcing his way into the bay because of its strategic location. The harbor was surrounded by several cannons at sea level, which proved fatal for the English attack. In order to close the channel, the Spanish sank three of their own ships. In an attempt to get to the treasure, the English attempted to sink the Spanish ships by lighting them on fire, but only succeeded on lighting one. The light caused by the fire alerted the Spanish military and made it easier for the battery guns to target the English ships. The Spanish felt more confident in their ability to defend Puerto Rico against future attacks. The Spanish retreated their silver and gold, and El Morro became the gateway to the Spanish Empire. On November 23rd, Francis Drake moved the fleet to Isla de Cabras. Following that day, on November 25th, Drake and his fleet stopped the fight and departed. While the English lost over 400 men and 9 to 10 boats, the Spanish only lost one boat and 40 men. The Spanish would maintain control over Puerto Rico, and the English would not be adding to their empire. Puerto Rico remained under Spanish control and continued absorbing Spanish culture, language, and customs. In respect to the infrastructure, Puerto Rico did not suffer as much as the English did because they were so prepared for the attack beforehand. After the battle, despite the Spanish victory, a greater emphasis on fortification of the island and the port became a priority. It was clear that other strong empires were aware of Spain's riches in gold and silver and were making efforts to take it from them as well as destroying its sources. This attack strengthened Spain's interest in maintaining Puerto Rico as a territory as they realized that pirates hired by other European powers would always be after their riches, and they needed a strategic, well-protected port such as San Juan that was protected by a morro. 